Climate week, a whole week, the world is watching. Do events like this really induce change? Yeah, I mean, Climate Week is, I think, a good illustration of the unparalleled momentum we've seen in this past year in recognizing the opportunity in addressing climate change and climate stabilization through investment and the policy uh, that has shown up in a major way in the United States to do so. So every week is Climate Week in some way. Sarah, I think what I find so fascinating, especially in private markets, venture capital, you're putting money in a portfolio of companies. Some of them will make it, some of them won't. And a lot of these ideas, they always seem a bit nascent, right? They always seem like things with great promise. How do you decide to, to where you deploy capital? Yeah, so we invest in companies building products and services that are positioned to decarbonize some aspect of the global economy. And these are the world's biggest markets we're talking about, energy, food and materials production, transportation. And what we recognized, and part of the reason that we started Voyager now when we did, is that many of these foundational technologies are reaching the point where they are cheaper and better performing than their fossil fuel incumbents. So we're, of course, seeing this in the area of electric vehicles, where the total cost of ownership of a light-duty vehicle is less than that of a combustion engine vehicle, and the performance is better. And so we look for opportunities in these expanding markets where foundational technologies are positioned to outcompete in the near term, in the next few years, or even today, their fossil fuel incumbents. And I think it's important to recognize these technologies will continue to get better over time, and the fossil fuel-based incumbents will continue to be ever more or less competitive. Sierra, let me ask you that question in reverse. Where are you not investing? Where do you not put your money within climate carbon reduction and why? Yeah, certainly. So we are an early stage venture capital firm. So as a venture capital firm, we seek investments that have a venture scale return profile. There are plenty of opportunities for investing in the overall transition away from an unsustainable and carbon intensive economy around the world. There are infrastructure investments to be made. There are certainly interesting opportunities to invest in the carbon markets themselves. We are investing in early stage technology companies that hold, as I said, an interesting and venture scale return profile. Out of Fund One, for example, we look for companies that we believe through our single investment Investment can return the entire $100 million fund through that investment. So you both raised around $100 million in April, I believe. I want to just take a look on the screen at some of those backing you guys, some of your LPs, really interesting names from industry, for example. You know, one being Jeff Immel of GE, long time at GE, one of these great big American companies. And we talked in the intro about how Climate Week brings together policymakers, business. When you look across corporate America, at a General Electric, for example, do you think that they are A, doing enough, Sarah, but B, doing the right things with their investment? Yeah, uh, many companies are recognizing the opportunity in the transition, and they're seizing the opportunity. I think. Uh, certainly not every company is, and all companies could be doing more. Uh, what it's difficult to recognize is that once technologies hit inflection points where they are better performing and less expensive than the technology paradigm they're replacing, they continue to get better, and they can continue to get better at a faster rate. And so we think these transitions will happen linearly. In reality, they actually can happen much, much faster than that. And so timelines and inflection points that feel like they might be 20 years out in decarbonization, in the transition from combustion to clean electricity might actually be happening in 10 years or five years. And corporations that don't prepare for that uh, and then are not ready for what is potentially the most rapid transition of economic activity the world has ever seen are not only going to be at risk for their business, but they're also going to miss out on a $50 trillion opportunity. Right. Sierra, it's been a really interesting week digging into the actual technologies, the things that that founders are trying to improve. Talk to me about some of your portfolio companies, the areas and the technologies that you're most excited about. Yeah, so we invest in foundational decarbonization. That is the technologies that are poised to decarbonize big swaths of the global economy. These are mobility, energy itself, food materials production, the built environment. 
we are backing companies that are poised to, should they succeed in these markets, really address emissions at scale across the global economy. And our portfolio reflects that. We invest in software companies, we invest in deep technology companies, we invest in biotechnology companies, and all are positioned to compete with right. the fossil fueled paradigms uh, of prior technology based on price and performance alone.